Thank you so much for stopping by. In case this is your first time, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Miriam. I am a Kenyan journalist and uh, also a student of international relations. And before we go even further, I do have a very small request uh, to you. It just take two seconds. It will only take you two seconds to click on the subscribe button. Okay, have you done that? All right, thank you, much appreciated. Now today, as I'm recording this, is it, it is on the 29th of May. Uh, Tina Tana died on the 24th. So it's about five days since her passing and the world is still trying to come to terms with the loss of this iconic rock and roll singer. Her music transcended generations. But outside of that, as tributes are being made by those who knew her well, by those who had a chance to talk to her and all that, a lot of information is floating out, of course. Most of the people, if I, if I told you, have been following and you're, you're not too young, perhaps you have an idea of what her, uh, from the stories and from the books that I think she has, from the book she has written, from a movie that was played about her over her past life and perhaps that really depicted a very bad um, relationship she had with her first husband and how her music career started and all of that but I, I don't have full information about that and so I don't want to sit here and, and give you an account of the things that I don't fully understand because that is not even the, what I wanted us to talk about today but even as I've been listening to the tributes that uh, concerning Tina Turner's life I think two things uh, stuck out uh, to me and one uh, was uh, at the age when she truly became successful and then I think her love story and how she found love again after being in a very bad relationship and later on uh, dated this guy for I think 27 years and she got married at, at the age of 73 okay I'm not here to talk about love I'm not here to advise you on anything to do with love I'm not even qualified to do that so I do not want to lose you farther down that route so I will leave that just there but the reason why I'm even bringing this up is just to encourage somebody out there who perhaps you have been feeling as if things are taking too long to work out for you everyone else's things life seems to be moving in a way that is fast paced and they seem to be doing so well and you're here stuck and you don't know how to move forward uh, with your life and you feel like you're not making the progress that you feel should have been making uh, in your life which is, is, is I think a legitimate concern sometimes but this is a woman who uh, until you hear the rest of the story you only see the success you only see uh, the whatever it is that she represents and she is celebrated you know she is adored she is respected over what she's been able to do over the years but until you go back and see her life uh, and everything else that led up to the Tina Turner the success that we know today it took years of, of pain, it took years of sacrifice, it took years of bad experiences, you know, for her to have been what uh, she was. And even with that, after so many, she started singing, well, she was still a teenager, but her first hit song that really put her out there like that was after she was, I think, 40 years old. After which she was past 40 years old, that was the first time, you know, from the things that I've been reading and from the information that I've been getting, that was the first time. Can you imagine that? And before that, she had, she had been singing, she had been, uh, you know, doing all that stuff that led up to that point now that she had a complete uh, breakthrough after she was 40 years old. Can you imagine that? And then having found love later after having been in a bad relationship, dated this guy for 27 years and she got married at the age of 73. Not many people think about getting married at the age of 73. And as I've said there earlier, I'm not sitting here to talk to you about love or to advise you of anything to do with love. I'm not qualified, I will not pretend to be, so I will just leave that over there. But I'm just trying to use that as an encouragement. Think about it. So it is never too late that is what I, I'm trying to say. It is never too late to start all over again. Many people would not think about getting married at the age of 73. Many people, if sometimes you feel I'm, I'm 35 or I'm this age or I'm that age, 
so because i've not been able to do certain things uh within a certain given age limit so that means that it might never happen for me that is not true all lives are not the same uh all our destinies are not treated in the same way we all have different paths that we have to go through life for us to get to this space that you're trying to get and for us to fully uh get to living within our purpose so you have to understand your own journey and you must stop comparing yourself to others stop looking at what the other person is doing how their life is moving and whatever it is that you feel is going on well with their lives and you feel stuck here concentrate in your journey trusting god and trusting the process because whatever we've been called to do in life is different and to whom much is uh is given much is expected and some of us we carry great destinies and if you carry a great destiny inside you then trust and believe it is not going to be easier for you there are things that you will have to go through to shape your character to mold you to make you to to really um, make you into that person that is supposed to walk within this destiny and so our journeys are different so once you understand that then you will not have these pressures you will not have this uh feeling as if you know everybody else is is moving on well with their lives and you're stuck so i think for me tina tanner's life has been one that uh is encouraging has been one that uh, tells me that uh it is possible regardless has been one that is quite uh encouraging and i think i was watching an interview she did with oprah just a few years ago and she was saying she was done and she did not want to perform again i think the last performance she did uh tour she did was 2007 i could be wrong it was in 2007 and she said she was done and i think even at that point she was just ready to just you know she was okay she was okay she was not scared of death she was not she felt like she had lived through whatever tea she had lived through and also she had had a chance of living in her purpose and accomplishing the things that she felt as she could have accomplished and so she lived a full life she lived a full life and uh, a lot of things for her you know happened much later and so I think it gets greater later. It is something that I've had being said, but even uh, you know, for many people I know, and even for myself, my life has has not happened in a very orthodox way, very unorthodox, you know. And so I have learned to just walk within the, my process and just dance to my own beat, and not try to to be somebody else, not try to rush things and match somebody else. I I don't do that. I just live within what I know I've been called to do. However long that takes, I, I, I'm, I'm learning patience, I'm learning endurance, and I'm learning to wait, and I think it's a beautiful thing. And sometimes, you know, we get so much carried away with what we want and how we see and the end goal that we miss to live in the process and enjoy life in the process and just enjoy the moments, the everyday small things that are happening in our lives, leading us to the ultimate space that we know that we will get, uh, you know, someday, maybe sooner, sometimes, uh, even later. But just like to encourage us, for those who are feeling as if things are taking too long, don't give up, don't be discouraged, continue working on it, you never know. And as I have given those two examples about uh, Tina Turner's life, I hope that uh, has encouraged you in case you are feeling as if, you know, it is taking too long for you. It is never too long and God is never late. You know, he, he is never late. It will happen. At the right time, it will happen for you. So be encouraged and please don't give up. Thank you. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to do that yeah right there is it there or here you know just just remember to subscribe all right thank you so much bye bye